Hey guys, welcome to Convolution. My name's Khan. Right now I'm going to be diving into more Diablo 3 in-game cinematics and cinematics in general. If you guys haven't checked out my reaction to any of the other Diablo 3 cinematics so far, I've reacted to the opening, the Acts 1, 2, and 3, as well as their, you know, corresponding CGI crazy hype cinematics like, uh, what do you call it, Terial versus Imperius, Imperius versus Diablo, and of course, you know, um, the, the Black Soul Stone as well. Learning about all the different, you know, different types of characters or different classes of characters that you can march on Tristram with and of course seeing like um, uh, what do you call uh, Leia's uncle Leia's uncle's passing Leia taking up the mantle the black soul stone. The, so, so one thing that you guys mentioned in the comments was that the black soul stone is so much more important than I ever gave, gave it credit for because the knowledge of it is that basically Diablo's behind everything Diablo wanted to take over the three primals powers or the three primal evils powers basically it was him and those like two others like I, i'm sorry if i forget the name but i i read it just like you know in the comments but basically he sort of orchestrated this you know crazy uh, mass conspiracy plot of trying to find a way into heaven itself and he ultimately ends up succeeding as we saw at the end of the last cinematic but basically he's sort of the indirect father of leia because he actually took over leia's father's body and you know sort of you know um uh what do you call uh Because he took over Leia's father's body, you know, had Leia with Leia's mother, and then, of course, converted Leia's mother to helping him sort of release himself from the Black Soul Stone. And apparently, his reasoning for getting into the Black Stone, Black Soul Stone, was to get all the primal evil's powers in one place so he could take control of them and be released. I think the Soul Stone's original purpose was to c combine all the evils together and destroy it, but he sort of manipulated it so it would just capture them, and then until he was ready to sort of you know enact his influence on Leia explode into heaven pretty much take everything down and become the ruler of it all so that that itself makes Diablo probably one of the craziest cool characters obviously I haven't seen the full as full uh, concept of it being realized visually of his plan but after reading some of you guys comments I was like damn dude this guy's Diablo is insane bruh like he doesn't give a shit about you know his fellow demons and fellow primal evils and whatnot he doesn't give a shit he just wants to rise to the top doesn't matter if you're angel demon human what the fuck he, he, he will destroy everything just to get to the top so that that in and of itself is a crazy ass villain as always if you guys enjoy watching these videos with me don't forget to like comment subscribe and share you guys can chat with me directly over on discord let's go ahead and uh, continue on with act four of Diablo 3 and let's see what the next uh, cinematic cutscene has to Any offer ideas? in 3, 2, 1. So <laughs> Act 4! Adria's betrayal is complete and Leah's soul is lost. Adria's Leah's mother. Through her, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. Oh shit. Damn. With all the powers of hell at his command. Damn, dude. The high heavens tremble. The angels are helpless before Diablo's assault. Shit. Only I remain to set things right. But who's talking? And vanquish Diablo's evil forever. But who is she? Because Leia's Diablo gone, sought right? sought to bring despair down upon heaven. But I have destroyed his champion and restored hope. I thought this would bring Tyrael back to his senses, but he remains lost. Nevertheless, I must push on and eradicate Diablo's hellish portals. Is that Imperius? Sounds like Imperius's voice I can. Diablo means to corrupt the Crystal Arch atop the Silver Spire. If he succeeds, the high heavens will be lost forever. The Crystal Arch. Tyrael and I go to face the Lord of Terror himself. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, 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 here we go. Hold up. Hold your asses. Hold your horses. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil. Okay. Forever. A mortal heart. Oh shit! Wait, this is after you beat him. Holy shit, Diablo! He worked so hard too. He worked so hard. 
Damn. Holy shit. Is that, that's the Black Soul Stone? Is it? Is it? Damn, heaven has seen better days. A new day breaks for both angels and men. Wow. For mankind's greatest champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. Oh, that's cool. All the corruption is, you know, being burnt away. Material. Whoa. My brethren, I will take my place among you once again. But this time, Whoa. as a mortal. Wow, a mortal in heaven? Since justice has been met this day, I will now stand as wisdom. Oh, shit. On behalf of those who risked all to save us. Forevermore. We shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. Yeah, demons not included. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Ooh, hello. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sketch art. Okay. Diablo was defeated. Okay. For a time, it seemed we would know peace. All right, all right. But it was not to be. It was not For to Diablo's be. For Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. Oh. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. Mm. And so it must be hidden. Cast back into the fiery chasm from whence it came. Elrond. I pray that it will be enough. So, so he's literally gonna trap it in some sort of vault. And... Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is some crazy ass location for. I can promise you in a future game they're gonna come and try and release this shit. Someone is gonna come and try and release this you shit. You have done well, Horadrum. Your service here is finished. And you should all. Uh oh. Uh okay, I didn't think it was gonna be this soon. Run. What the frick is that? Malfail. Malfail? Death. He looks like freaking Death and Oh shit! Yeah, he is Death incarnate. That's it. He's kind of like an angel. Looks like what I would picture a fallen angel in Diablo to look like. Damn, dude! Go! Find the Nephilim! Find the Nephilim. Damn, dude. This is just this is straight out of like Gandalf versus Sauron in the Hobbit. Whoa! Holy shit, yo! It literally absorbs life? Damn. Wait, whoa, 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 Oh, shit. Oh, no, is he going? Is he gone? Wow. Oh, shit, he... Brother. Brother. Why? What? Uh, 
Wait, no, he's not completely dead, though. Well, he, he used to be an angel, so... What is up with this and dude? Death will stop you. No one can stop death. Oh. He sounds awesome, by the way. My god. Well, well, shit. Okay, well, Act 4 was definitely interesting. Wow. So we got a new uh, villain right now, which is literally the Angel of Death. I'm gonna call him. What was his name? Can you can you guys leave the pronunciation of the name down in the comments below? Malthian or something? That's what I heard. I don't know. I, next time I gotta put on the freaking um, subtitles. But even then, sometimes the subtitles even get it wrong. You know what I'm saying? But man, of course, you're gonna try and trap this thing. It took. It, it wasn't even. In, it, it wasn't even in the cage for more than like a few seconds until some dude showed up to try and break that shit out i mean come on man diablo is high priority shit you know what i'm saying so they couldn't destroy it it kind of reminded me a lot of like the lord of the rings one ring of power you can't destroy it the only way to destroy it is to throw it back into the fiery pits from once it came you know what i'm saying code elrond from uh, uh fellowship of the ring but man dude so th if there's no way to destroy it the only thing that Tyrael tried to do is try and entrap it so is, is Tyrael gonna die because he's technically still immortal he's taken the role as, as an angel but he's still immortal because i guess he just likes it now but um yeah, it's just, he, he's an embodiment of wisdom at this point, but this new being of death is, literally looks like a fallen angel. Just li Or maybe his role is the angel of death, and maybe now that Diablo is, uh, uh, what do you call, captured, he doesn't have a role anymore. Maybe he's like, damn, Diablo might have been good for my business, you know what I'm saying? So wh who knows what his mentality for that is, or maybe he's just power hungry. He's power hungry for that Diablo, bro, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, Act 5 is we're on the verge of act five act four was quite crazy act four gave us two freaking awesome cool cinematics so can't wait to see what happens with uh this new angel of death and will he be successful in summoning diablo once more wow dude anyways what did you guys think leave your comments down below and i'll see you guys later in the next video until then have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are <laughs> bye thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it please subscribe hit that like button and feel free to share the video and i'll see you guys next time